Welcome to Faith in Five, a weekly video devotional designed to discuss practical spiritual concepts in five minutes or less. I'm Eric Scrotenbor, and this is Faith in Five, and I'm so excited to be your host today. Hear, O Israel, the Lord is our God, the Lord alone. Love the Lord your God with all of your heart, with all of your soul, and with all of your might. These words are called the Shema because in Hebrew, Shema means hear, and hear is the first word of the verse. Now God gave these words to Moses and told Moses, I want you to teach these words to the people. I want you to talk about these words when you're at home and when you're away, when you wake up in the morning and when you go to sleep at night. I want you to memorize these words, put them on your heart and teach them to your children. They are important words. And so my wife Meredith and I wrote a book called Hear O Little One in the morning and then you can flip it over and read Hear O Little One in the evening. And this book is hopefully a tool that parents can use to help their kids better understand these words that God called us to place on our heart. I want to read to you the first page of this book. It says this, Hear O Little One how much God loves you. Because of God's love, we can love too. The Lord is our God, the Lord God alone. God reigns as the King, the one on the throne. Hear, O Israel, the Lord is our God, the Lord alone. Well, what does that mean? the Lord God alone. I think it's important to remember when God gave these words to Moses. You see, God's people, the Israelites, had lived for hundreds of years in Egypt. And through the plagues, God led his people out of Egypt into the desert. You see, I wonder if, if God thought my people are starting to look a lot more like the Egyptians than the people that I've called them to look like. So I have to do something drastic. I need to take them to a place where I can train them to be the people that I want them to be so that the world can see what I'm like when they see my people. So God takes them to the, the desert and he gives them some teachings that are going to help them become who God wants them to be. And they learn what it means to be a community. And they end up on the plains of Moab, where Moses gives them one final sermon, some instructions as to how to live when they get into the land that God has promised them. And so God says, hear, I want you to hear these words. I want you to do these words. Hear, O Israel, the Lord is our God, the Lord alone. And I want you to remember that. You see, they just came from Egypt where there were multiple gods. There was a God for everything. And this is what was in their being. This is what they lived. God says, I need to remind you that I am the only God. The Shema is, is kind of like a pledge of allegiance. Saying, God, I will worship you and you alone, and I will love you with all of my heart, with all of my soul, and with all of my might. Now, what I also find interesting are the verses that come after this. Let me read them to you. So this comes after the Shema. This is Deuteronomy 6, verses 10. And when the Lord your God brings you into the land that he swore to your fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, to give you, with great and good cities that you did not build, and houses full of good things that you did not fill, and cisterns that you did not dig, and vineyards and olive trees that you did not plant. And when you eat and are full, then take care lest you forget the Lord who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of slavery. You see, God knew God's people God knew that when they got in the land and they had all this good stuff, that they would put that on the throne. God says, no, I don't want you to do that. I am the one 
on the throne. Now, I think this passage is relative to us. Let, let me read this again to you, but maybe in a little bit different way. And when the Lord your God brings you to the land that he swore to your fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, to give you, when God brings you into the towns, into the places where you are now living, in houses, some of you who have built your own house, but some of you who are living in houses that have been built before, but you have the luxury of buying someone else's house. And these houses are full of good things, all kinds of fun things. If you go in the garage, you'll maybe see a boat, you'll maybe see two cars, maybe you'll... See, but they're full of good things. And cisterns that you do not take. You know that faucet that you have where you just have to turn it on and the water just flows? You never have to be thirsty. And you know that button you can push when you're cold and, and the, the heat comes on? And in the summer when, when it's hot, you can push another button and, and it gets cold? You know all those good things? And, and all those things in your cupboard? You have multiple choices of what you are going to eat. And you can even go out to eat. Look at all these Amazing things. When you get all this stuff, when you have all this stuff, all these material things, don't forget me. So friends, I want to challenge you. Are you putting something on the throne? What is it? Are there things in your life that you love more than the God of the universe? Shema Israel. Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Hear, O Israel, the Lord is our God, the Lord alone. Thanks for watching Faith in Five. If you like what you see, please like and share. If you're interested in making a donation to our ministry, please click the link below.